Our research group at CSU has just updated its Atlantic hurricane forecast and has increased its numbers from its initial early April outlook. We are now calling for a well above average season with a total of 20 named storms, 10 hurricanes, and five major category three, four, five hurricanes. The average Atlantic hurricane season has about 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. One of the main reasons that we are forecasting an above normal season is that we do not anticipate El Nino conditions this summer and fall. El Nino is warmer than normal waters in the tropical Pacific. When El Nino occurs, it typically increases winds at high levels in the atmosphere, about 20 to 30,000 feet, over the Caribbean and the tropical Atlantic, which tears apart hurricanes trying to develop in the Atlantic. We do not believe that El Nino will be present this year. We are somewhat more confident that El Nino will not develop now than we were when we issued our initial April forecast. Water temperatures in the tropical Atlantic are warmer than normal now, as are temperatures across the eastern subtropical and mid-latitude Atlantic. When the eastern part of the subtropical and mid-latitude Atlantic has warmer than normal water, it tends to force lower pressure that reduces the strength of the winds blowing across the tropical Atlantic, leading to warming there too for the peak of the season. A warmer tropical Atlantic provides more fuel for developing tropical cyclones. The tropical Atlantic has warmed faster than normal over the past two months, which is another reason why our forecast has been increased. We stress with all seasonal forecasts that these are informational tools, not preparedness tools. Now is the time to prepare for the season, which officially began on June 1st. CSU will issue an updated hurricane forecast on July 7th.